Hey guys, and welcome to the Succulence Network YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to our channel and give all our videos a thumbs up before we continue. But today we're going to talk about how to grow and care for Grabatopallium bellum. Now, there are not that many people that know much about this plant, but interestingly enough, it was discovered in 1972 in northern parts of Mexico in the states of Chihuahua and Sonora and it was found in the altitude of 1460 meters or 4008 feet high. The plant is native to rocky terrain with moderate sun exposure. Now this is a perennial succulent plant which grows slowly and creates clusters. The rosettes can reach up to 10 centimeters or 4 inches in diameter and are almost flat to the ground. Now, most interestingly about this plant are the leaves that give the plant that triangular shape. Usually the leaves are in grey to bronze color, which also depends where you grow the plant. Now, when it's flowering season, you can expect a 10 centimeter stem coming out of the plant with flowers that can reach around 2.5 centimeter in diameter, which are usually deep pink to red. The individual flower are with five petals, usually star shaped and have a dark pink stems and white anthers. The flowering season is from May to June. Now we're going to talk a little bit about cultivation since we always get asked how can you cultivate these plants and how were they cultivated to begin with. But this beautiful grab to bellum is cultivated as an ornamental plant. And this species requires more shade than others of the family. So you should know because the plant native environment is in cliffs in the wild, you're going to want to grow it in shades. When you pick the correct soil for it, you need to think about a well-draining succulent soil. You should only fertilize the plant during the growing season. You want to do so by using a diluted to half of the recommended rate for this plant. You should use fertilizers for cactuses or succulent plant. That usually gives you the best nutrition you can find. You can also use banana peel if you do not want to buy any fertilizers with chemicals. We have another video about that if you're interested in that. Now, when it comes to temperatures, it requires low temperatures for flowering in the spring. You're going to want to think about at least 15 degrees Celsius or less. It can also survive short periods under 5 degrees Celsius if it's completely dry. Now you're going to want to water the plant only enough to avoid shriveling. You do not want to overwater the plant. If you do so, it will cause the roots to rot and the plant will die very quickly. We're going to want to do everything we can to carefully prevent rotting. Especially when you water the plant in winter or low temperatures, or if you live in a humid area, You're going to want to think carefully about how you water it. A good idea is to keep a schedule of your plant where you begin to water it by completely soaking the plant in water and then let it dry out completely. You can write in your diary when you water these plants and see how they respond depending on how frequently you water them. Each plant is different and each environment the plant is subjected to is different. So if you live in a warmer climate, you might need to water a little bit more frequently than if you live in a humid climate. But this is where the fun part comes in. You need to experiment with your own beautiful plants. Now, 
most of these plants are killed because people overwater it or that they get severe pest infection. You're going to want to pay special attention to this plant, but in general, it's quite easy to grow. So, if you want a little bit of a tip, we recommend keeping the temperature around the plant slightly colder because these type of succulents prefer cool temperatures so they can actively grow and thrive better. They usually grow during fall and spring and are usually very slow growing during the winter. Now I hope that this video has been helpful to you and if you want more information about the plant make sure to check out our, our website. We have some useful links in the descriptions below from everything how you can water, propagate, fertilize, all of these things you can find below. If it's not there it's definitely going to be on the website along with specific plant profiles to countless of succulents and cacti. Now I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to click the subscribe button below, hit the thumbs up and I see you next time. Bye bye!